Good evening and welcome to another one of my segments of A Verse A Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Today I would like to talk to you about moderate Muslims. Is there such a thing as being a moderate Muslim versus a radical Muslim? Could you actually be a Muslim and still be moderate, not necessarily following everything that Islam has set forth for you? Let's find out. I'm going to read um, two verses to you from Surah Al-Fatah, The Victory. That's book number um, 48, verses 16 and 17. <clears throat> Say to those of the dwellers of the desert who were left behind, you shall soon be invited to fight against the people possessing mighty prowess. You will fight them until they submit. Then, if you obey, Allah will grant you a good reward. And if you turn back, He will punish you with a painful punishment. So in this verse, we're talking about people of the desert, you know, I guess the Arabs of the Arabian Peninsula as Muslims swept through the country, you know, taking people along with them. You have to come along and join and fight. If you fight and make other people submit, then God will reward you. If you do not fight, if you choose to turn back, then Allah will punish you severely. And I just want to go back to one of the, my favorite words, until they submit. Going back to the same theme that I repeat over and over, in Arabic is, well actually in English it says, you will fight them until they submit. In Arabic, تُقَاتِلُونَهُمْ أَوْ يُأَسْلِمُونَ So, you will fight them until they become Muslim. Again, to become Muslim is to submit. They're synonymous. To become Muslim is to submit. Islam is a religion of submission, not a religion of peace. Moving on to verse 17. There is no harm in the blind, nor is there any harm in the lame. Um, the lame here is translated, actually it came from Arabic as al-araj, the limped, um, the handicapped. So much for religion of tolerance, they call the handicapped the lame. Anyway, and <clears throat> nor is there any harm in the lame, nor is there any harm in the sick if they do not go forth and fight. And whoever obeys Allah and his apostle and fights, he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. Man, those people of the desert really wanted water and rivers. And whoever turns back, he will punish him with a painful punishment. So, to be Muslim, you have to obey Allah, you have to obey Muhammad, uh, al Nabi Muhammad, Muhammad the Prophet. If you don't obey him, when he tells you, go and fight and kill the non-believers until they submit and become Muslim, then you're a good Muslim and you'll go to heaven and you'll get water. A river of water. But if you don't fight, you're, you, you can't be a Muslim because you're going to go to hell. You're going to receive a severe punishment from God. So how can you actually call yourself a moderate Muslim, yet you're going to receive your punishment from Allah? Just something to ponder about. Thank you. Have a good night.